Hi, welcome to Bot City. I'm Lohan Caproni, co-founder and CEO. So if you're here looking for alternative to traditional RPA solutions, or maybe a way to orchestrate your Python automations, you came to the right place. We're going to cover all these use cases in this quick overview about Bot City. We are a Python RPA platform for tech teams, trusted by 1,000 companies in over 60 countries. So let's start with why. Why Bot City? First, you can remove vendor lock in. You are working now with Python open source automations, so you can feel free to use more than 400,000 libraries in Python or Bot City frameworks and plugins. We're going to dig deeper on that later. The second thing when we talk about Python is that the performance of automations. Automations can run 15 times faster and costing a fraction that low code costs to build and orchestrate this kind of automations. At the same time, offering now an enterprise level orchestration and governance for your automations. So there's no excuse anymore to not work with Python on RPA. And works everywhere. You can automate to Citrix, from Citrix to SAP, using computer vision platforms or, or frameworks, and you can run everywhere from Windows. So let's start talking this quick overview about our product. We offer a complete stack for automation. So you have everything from build to deploy, orchestrate and scale. Talk about building these automations. We are covered here the frameworks, Bot City Studio, Computer Vision Powered, and Bot City Docs, our intelligent document processing solution. On deploy, we're going to talk about our agents and the orchestration level, how you can operate this at full scale for your automations. The first thing, work with Python and open source automations. You can build faster without vendor lock-in, but most important, you now have access to the state of art of technology. You can get access to SDKs directly from, from suppliers. You don't need to be worried about some kind of connectors or things like that. You are work with pure Python. So Bot City created and maintained some open source frameworks. So it can build using web automations for like IDs and DOMs to build faster web automations. You can build for desktop using an XPath approach or a computer vision approach. If you go here, I can show you now to our documentation portal, you can see our plugins. So we have everything for accelerators for developers. So if you want to, for instance, read a spreadsheet, you can here have everything in one plugin. You just install and that's it. You have everything you need to manipulate our data or things like that. If you want to connect, uh, maybe read an email inbox, same approach here. So we have these accelerators to help developers build faster. So let's keep moving here. We are talking about Python and plugins and open source code, right? But then you get some challenging scenarios as building like on SAP or desktop or legacy platforms. So there's, there's the point when you, we deploy the Bot City Studio. Bot City Studio is a developer tool that works side by side with your IDE. So you can use VS Code or PyCharm or whatever you want to allow you to build automations directly on the screen. So let me show this quick example for you. Let's take the situation you are using Factorama. This is a standard ERP platform, right? So this is a desktop application, no APIs, no integrations. You can add a product here, a content. So let's try to make a, an automation to add a new product here. What is a desktop application? So how do we approach this using Bot City? You just you are in screen. So now you are in Bot City Studio. You can interact directly with the UI. So you can, you can interact and you crop the element that you want to choose and you will give a label to this element. So you are saying this, okay, this is a new product and you can choose the action there you're doing that. So when you choose the action and you click on submit, the tool is going to automatically generate a Python code for you. So from UI to Python, right? So two things that are interesting here. This element will be found by computer vision, 
which means if change the position on the page, it's going to be found the same way. It's not our X, Y positioning. It's the computer vision running here, so it can change the position. And at the same time, the tool generates the Python code for you here. This code gets automatically injected in your IDE as well. So at the end of the day, you are in pure Python again. So this tool you can use to build on any kind of platform. And it's really useful to give you freedom to some challenging scenarios as ERPs or legacy systems or desktop applications, or even some web applications that you have more challenging frameworks uh, that can be in your, on your way when you work in a Selenium-like approach. Good, so let's move to the next tool. It's called Bot City Docs. Bot City Docs is an intelligent document processing tool. You can get any kind of PDF generate file and you can select from the area. And at the same time, you make the anchoring between two elements. As you can see here, at real time, I'm anchoring this. I'm getting, getting the JSON parsed data to work. So with this approach, I can build in a generate, generated PDF file, any kind of parsers that I want really fast. And I can use a plugin from Google Cloud Vision or maybe a Tesseract or maybe an Abbey. If I get the same document from the generate PDF as an image file, the same template that I built here, I can read both, both generated PDF and both uh, image PDF as well. So this is a really useful tool. So it can build several templates really fast and go forward for your automations. Okay, let's take, let's take this example. So this is a construction company that needs to valid, to make a, a, to automate a supplier validation process. The supplier validation process used to take 10 days and now takes six minutes with a bot. This is the kind of end-to-end -end process that can be with Python. So the bot gets into a web repository where the supplier sent our, our document, documentation. The bot downloads the documents, use bot seeds docs to parse the PDF files. They use a, a, a approval rules engine. If the supplier is approved, go forward in the process. If it's not approved, we use NLP to inform the user what's happening in the process. Is there any document missing or something like this? Then bot gets into SAP using our computer vision frameworks and fulfill more than 20 screens of data and close the ticket. So this is the kind of process end-to-end -end that you can build from 10 days to six minutes running like seamless. Other case is the, the, this company that was a migration for new IPath. So this company migrated for new IPath and the bots are three times faster than new IPath. They have more than 40 automations in production on SAP, more than 20 robots running in parallel and a saving of 70% of UI path licenses. So better performance, less cost, and more automations. When you need to run the automations, so now talking about deployment, you have Bot City Runner. Bot City Runner allows you to run automations anywhere you want, right? So you can run on any cloud provider that you want or physical machines. You can run on Dockers or serverless like Trigon from AWS Lambda, if you want, depending on the use case. Web automations, any kind of web automations you can run on background. This gets interesting because our license is the only one that allows you to run at the same time in a machine using the screen for a desktop automations, but run several uh, uh, sessions in the background as well. When you talk about architecture, you have the developer environment and developer's machine in your company, and the automations run on premise on your machine as well, on your infrastructure as well, on your servers, right? On the default cloud orchestration, you bought CD Maestro is within our cloud. You build the automations, you deploy the automations, so you send the binary executable file to bot CD Maestro. And the way this communicates is not Maestro gets into your infrastructure, it's the opposite way. So runner use a door 443 HTTPS or the authentication here goes and ask for bot city maestro here. I'm the virtual machine one. What do I need to do? 
download this automation, run on your site, and then returns just the log of your process. Just the logs, ID and success or failure. Everything I'm going to show you in Bot City Maestro is optional for you to show on the orchestrator or not. And the orchestrator as well, they have a, a API that allows you to trigger process from different applications like a BPM solution, maybe from Alexia or a front end. But at the same time, you can gather data to put on a Grafana or a Power BI or something like that. Oh, let's talk about the orchestrator. The orchestrator is called Bot City Maestro. Bot City Maestro is an orchestration made for code-based automations, right? So it's agnostic. You can work if you made automations with build automations using like Selenium, Playwright, Tag UI, Puppeteer, Pyotogi, doesn't matter. You can just use a, a you just have to to add a bot, bot, bot .py file and a requirements file, and then you can use our SDKs to make use of the best tools that Bot City Maestro provides you. So let's talk about the orchestrator as well. So when you create a, a, an account, here's the, the what you're gonna see. So you can download Bot City Studio here. You can get access to the documentation to our academy if you want to want to learn more about Bot City and then Bot City Maestro. So when you open the Bot City Maestro here, the orchestrator, that's some things you can do. Let's start with an easy deploy. So I want to deploy a bot. So I can make a like a test Bot City right now. Right now automation. I just get the file that I, I use to make the build for my automation, right? So let's take the file here, the bot build. I choose the technology, Python, Java, JavaScript, or a command. I can orchestrate actually any kind of command here. I choose my versioning of the bot. It's an X here. I associate my virtual machine. Let's use the zero one and a deploy. That's it. So three clicks, deploy, successful. I want to create a new task here. I can have a test task. I can set priorities or parameters. We can get to, the, we're gonna get to that later. I create here, right? So now I have my task queue. So I can see everything is running here. Which automations are in queue, which automations are failed or running. I can see by year, by, by period, by automation or by state. I can schedule automations using Chrome rules, any kind of Chrome rules. There's a Chrome builder here. I can make everything from that. I can set up alerts. So our automation gets a, a warn or error or something. I can send this through Teams, Slack, email, or WhatsApp. When automation gets an error, that, that, that gets really interesting. I get everything here from the trace back of the code to check where, where the automation stopped. So this was a QA bot of this demo account. So I get the screenshot and the stack the traceback or where the automation stopped, right? Uh, and at least, at last, and at last you will have the runners. So you can see at real time which machines are running and what applications they're running. So in real time, so don't need to worry uh, about opening each virtual machine. So you can get like logs from this machine if you want. So this is a really handful uh, handy tool uh, when you were working, right? Uh, you can have credentials that you can put here. If you want to work with credentials in other platform like HashiCorp, we have a, we have an integration for that, but you can use on Bot City as well. We can you can set up and customize uh, execution logs, so you can have like one year logs. You can customize that. You can export this. You can choose any kind of action you want. You can send. Uh, artifacts or result files uh, to any kind of users. And if you have users that need to access the orchestration, because you can run scheduling, you can trigger automation from APIs, but sometimes you, can, you need to give access to users so they can actually find their own automations by their permission level, and then they have uh, priority or parameters. They can, you can order them to have like, put your full name here from parameters as well. And at the end, you have the audit mode that you can have everything what's happening in your platform, who deployed a bot, who viewed the result files, who made uh, any kind of operations here. And you have 
as one last thing, bot versioning. So you can deploy different versions, but if you want to roll back, you can flag the release here and quickly roll back your automation. So that's it. So it's a quick uh, sum it up. Uh, bot city is a complete tool for you to deploy any of the kind of these automations. So you can build, manage, scale uh, your automations here. Feel free to try. So this is my contact if you want anything. So enjoy.